Hi guys, well you know I'm back into a gaming system and I start making tokens for it. Uh, I've made some tokens for my Dark Eldar. Alright, apologies if you can hear lots of wind. The, uh, the wind's trying to blow the garage down at the moment. Uh, so I've got here my Skaven tokens, I wanted from my Skaven. And I've basically kept the same back but changed the front. And I've added some as well, you'll notice the stack is a bit higher. Um, if you haven't seen the video on how I made them, I'll put a link up there. Uh, basically, I've used my Sewet machine to cut three layers of 0.25 styrene. Um, the middle one is just a blank disc, and then you've got the detail on the top and the detail on the bottom. So I've gone for all sorts of things. Again, you can see I've used the same font. I'm not 100% on the paint job on these, though they do stand out on the table rather nice. Um, it's just that the, the wording isn't quite, if you look at it from a distance, it's not, uh, it's not as outstanding as as that is for example but so the the paint i guess what i'm saying the paint is a work in progress um i'm pretty happy with this design here if i just grab one of the bits that was cut out you can see it has lost a little bit of its detail in terms of the uh, the symbol and if i can pick it up and hold it that would be good uh, because that triangle in the middle there isn't obviously stuck in because uh, well I wasn't about to go ahead and stick all the little triangles in because I've probably lost them somewhere. Anyway, so that's how they basically get cut out. I can use these for all sorts of things, I reckon. I could uh, use them to decorate some of my raiders or something, or some of my, my other Dark Eldar vehicles. That's really cool the way they came out. So I've got that on the back of all of them now. I can use that just to denote uh, certain things, like my homunculus being in range of certain units. And then on the back of each one... I've got, for example, plus one wound, wound, RR, and this is what I've used for re-rolls, so this is just to remind me that something has got re-rolls. That's that one. Uh, we got plus one to attack, uh, plus one to my saves, another re-roll, where else have we got? Oh, plus one to hit, re-roll, wound, hit, hit. And so on and so forth. We get the idea. Um, they're quite, they're fairly sturdy, and because they're plastic hard and they're uh, stuck together with poly cement, they are staying in one in this piece. One thing I did do this time is I actually sanded down the tops. Let me just see if I can get this to focus, um, which actually made them look a lot nicer up close. If I just bring across one of the other ones, you can see here. When I hold it up to the light, you can see there's a raised edge where the knife is cut, and you can sort of see that there. Um, if you look at these, there's no raised edge at all, it's just nice and flat, it's just, it looks really, really nice. Uh, you can see there where I've put the poly cement in lines underneath, I think I like that, uh, that effect as well. But yeah, I really like these. Again, I need a little bit of advice on painting the things, because I'm not sure I'm happy on this mottled... Uh, green effect I've gone for. Um, it needs a little bit of work, but overall I am pretty happy with uh, with how these came out and the symbol looks awesome. Right, um, that's basically all I want to show you guys. So um, let me know if you've got any suggestions on painting the things. Um, I'm I'm just happy to have them ready for when I play my first game of uh, eighth, which is probably going to be tomorrow now, uh, taking the Dark Eldar. Which, if you've watched my last video, I uh, I built a list. Just happens the list is wrong, so I'll be doing that video again um, with a correct list. The reason it's wrong is because I hadn't taken into consideration um, the war gear costing separate, which was <laughs> a little bit of an oversight. But I hadn't read the rules fully. Um, it's a little bit of bl blurb above the points, which says you have to add in all the war gear as well, which includes all the weapons and everything, which is which is crazy. It's a big shock from how I used to build lists for 7th and all games before that. Right, I think that's all I wanted to talk about, get that out of the way. Right, thank you very much for watching, keep up with me in between my videos over here, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Stay well guys.